So this is our GLL LED with motion sensor. This is an infrared sensor, and we also have the radar sensor, but it looks different. So in the package, we send you the radar sensor and also the infrared sensor as well. The radar sensor can only work in the uh, closed environment, is, which means the fixture without a lens, uh, without a lens. The radar sensor can work either uh, both in the closed environment and also the open environment. And also this, the other side is our adapter. You can see our adapter word on the other side. So just let me have, uh, teach you how to change the, the, the sensor in case uh, you have a fixture with the lens. So just gently twist it, gently twist it, don't break it. And then you can see this is the connectors. So how to change it, you put the sum here to against the connector tightly. And then use your other hand to take it off, put it out gently. You can see that's the pins and these are the holes. If you remove it very quick, there's a chance you might gonna break the pin and then the whole set is damaged. And how to put it back, same thing. Use the thumb to against the tech connector and then put the hole back into the pin gently. Move it gently. Move it gently. And this is our auto, uh, older model. In our new model, you can see a sensor word on here. And then you can just put the LED chip back and then put everything, twist it back. Everything. And that's it. That's it. This is how you're going to change the sensor. Okay, so let me show you how to use the remote control. So one remote control can control every tube, every single tube. So forget about this button and the middle button. So all you need to use is, is uh, this 0 watt, 3 watt, 6 watt, 9 watt, and auto button. So point this remote control always to the adapter side. This is how it's gonna work. You point out to the sensor side, you will not change the settings. Now you can use this remote control, point it to the point it to adapter side and change the settings. The full power is 18 watt. I think the the original setting with the dimmer is the 9 watt. Then you can change to 0 watt, 3 watt, 6 watt, or remain as a 9 watt. If um, I think the, the original setting is 9 watt, but if you don't trust us, you can just change it by itself. Whenever you think you did something wrong, press the auto button, point it out to the adapter side. Remember, whenever you think you touch these two buttons, after you touch these two buttons, press the auto button against the adapter side. It will, it will give you to the, the original settings. So don't push, don't put push these two buttons. Only use this one, two, three, four, five buttons. Okay? So if you have any, any other questions, please let me know. Thank you.